Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag's SQL Server DBA tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to migrate data from Oracle to SQL Server with SQL Server Migration Assistant that is called SSMS with the different schema name. So, I will change the name just like a database owner name and I will just migrate the database. So, here we can download the SSMS from the below URL. This is the link. You can download the SQL Server Migration Assistant. So, open your in your browser there is options to uh, download each button is there just click on the download you will get a three files we don't want the file x86 uh, structure file so we this these both the files you can download after downloading that you will get the file like that so i'm going to install the file so this is my first file extension pack so click on next agreement next typical next inst install after that installing that it will ask you the so instance connect with the, your local instance so i'm using the local instance you have a uh, remote instance also linux or azure so i have a local instance click on next my instance name is chirag dash lapi primary db so click on next you can go through the windows authentication also but if you are using any remote connection then windows authentication won't work so go with your uh, sql server authentication so click on next next this is a installation pack extension pack and installation is completed now there is options to yes or no so if you want to install with the another instance then go to the yes or no i am using only one instance for migration so click on no, no next exit now i am going to install the sql server management studio uh, management assistant for oracle so click on next same installation procedure So installation is completed now let me connect with the SQL, uh, oracle database and let me check so open your sql server uh, sql developer and i'm also opening the my sql server management studio in sql uh, sql developer here you can able to see i'm just connecting with the my local database so chirac is database there there we have two tables one view and one procedure we have and sql server management studio i am connecting with uh, my primary db here you can check your the primary db is there so click on connect primary db is connected let's uh, let's check with the databases we have only two databases so now i am going to open my sql server as migration assistant so open sql server migration assistant here i am migrating the data from oracle to sql server so first go to the file create one project name orc to sql click on ok here i migrated to sql server 2022 so click on ok so project is created now i have to connect with the oracle database so here connect to the oracle database this pop-up will come here you have to change the your server name where you want to just connecting and my port number is 1521 the default port for the oracle oracle sid my sid is orcl my username is chirag and password is also chirag so click on ok so connected now i i am just working with the my only one object that is chirag so click on ok 
now object is start loading so let it load and after that there is a learning so here we will connect to the oracle database we are connected now we will target the sql server database we will connect now after the connection of the oracle complete connection of the uh, oracle oracle let it complete and second is map the oracle schema which you want to migrate to sql server database and modify the schema name so whatever that schema name you want to modify you can modify we'll do it and convert oracle object to a sql server and load the converted object to uh, sql server and finally migrate the data to sql server data so it's a 59 percent is completed meanwhile let me check with the oracle database so here we have a one table is there department so department we have two columns and data we have three data three rows of data and similarly we have a uh, employees are there so employees table we have a uh, two data is there and all employees one view is there and one procedure is there so we can migrate the or, uh, oracle database tables view and procedures and functions to the sql server database 78 percent is completed let it complete 80 so using the sql server migration assistant this is quite easy to migrate to oracle to sql server in later on videos we can create the package uh, for the migration and we will test with that and in this video particularly we will just watch the uh, database owner so we will use the dbo and in previous video you can check there is a we are not changing the name of the database owner near about to complete it so this is uh, this is connected now i am going to connect to the my sql server so click on the connect to the sql server and give the your required information required authentication and click on ok so we don't have any database name of chirag so it will automatically create the database name now you can check loading objects now you can able to see chirag is created you can expand you can expand to the table and views we don't have any tables we don't have any views and we don't have any procedures now we'll migrate from the oracle to sql server so this is completed lo completely loaded now in chirag just i am uh, creating the report and let me test what are the um, errors and warnings are there so here you can able to see we have a 75 percent we have a success and one object we have error so expand in left side there is a procedure we have error what is the error we can able to see here so there is a number is converted to plot so there is a number conversation and number is changed to float this is the error so this is a warning not an error so now i am going to modify the schema targeted so and uh, database owner is dbo i am giving the target schema so dbo 
so i've changed that one now right click on your uh, schema name and convert schema so finish with the with this now here right click on your database name and synchronize with the database click on synchronize with the database so synchronization you can expand this one so inside the schema there is a dbo inside the dbo there is a one procedure is there uh, two tables is there and one view file is there all the files there is a not found in left side you can check with the sql server management studio you don't have any tables like that so if you click on that it will be created so synchronization is completed now let me check with the databases refresh so uh, here you can able to see there is a dbo department is there dbo employees there so similarly in views views is also created dbo and uh, here is a procedure stored procedure you can check with the remove emp you can check with that all the remove emp all employee and database uh, employee and department tables are there so can so schema synchronization is completed now i am going to convert to the migrate data so right click on your schema and there is a click on the migrate data so click on that my username is chirax so click on that uh, connect here my uh, sql server i am going to connect with that so sa and it's connected so see two tables are successfully migrated we have a, we don't have any error and all the columns are success rate is 100% you can save the record if you want or close the record and now i'm go going to open the mysql server management studio here uh, this is a department just select the column so here when we are selecting all the all the data is convert uh, coming to the mysql server management studio so in this video we have learned how to migrate data from oracle to sql server with the sql server migration assistant with the different uh, yeah, database owner name means uh, database owner so i have converted to the dbo so dbo is the default database owner we always use so go through go through the step by step and you can uh, learn this one and don't forget to follow like share and comment and subscribe so thank you for watching hope this will help